hello everybody welcome back to another part of the sims 3 rags to riches challenge sorry about that i had um a hair wrap in because i just took a shower and it was very uncomfy so i had to take it out anyways welcome back to the sims 3 rags to riches challenge i have so very much to show you guys like okay hold on can we just how cute is this they're so adorable um so much to show you guys so <clears throat> We're currently in Adam's room, and you guys know this door goes to the entryway. You know that. But now there's another door. Interesting. Um, so I'm going to show you guys the changes I made to their house. Let me just... Um, it looks like an actual real house now. Uh, it's kind of crazy. Um, so yeah, on the outside, we have this little fenced-in area for the garden. I don't know if I'm gonna leave it like this, like just have the garden fenced in and then eventually when we get to the point where we have like kids stuff, it'll be outside the fence or if eventually I'll expand the fence. I don't really know, but for now, it's just the garden. And then um, the dog house is over here, trash and recycling is over here. So we made lots and lots of changes to this house. I'm sure you guys just saw a little sneak peek. So this is the front door, the entryway. Um, as far as I know, everything's the same in here. Eventually, I would like to get like a shoe rack and a coat rack, but obviously that stuff is not like priority. Um, over here, this is currently being used as Adam's room. Nothing is different in here except for I added a doorway because I'm expanding the house. Um, oh, also, I added curtains to every window as well, but you guys know this is Adam's room for now. Eventually, this is going to be the home office, so I kind of like the idea of the master bedroom being off of the home office. So, oh, sorry. I also just ate my dinner, so I had to burp. Excuse me. Um, yeah, you guys do you know I don't know um anyways this is eventually going to be the home office so I like the idea of having the master bedroom being off of the home office eventually when we build an upstairs that is where the kids bedrooms will go but for now um his bedroom is just going to be in here as a toddler I don't see an issue with um her having to walk through his bedroom to get to hers so um not a big deal in my opinion so we come through this door, and this is the master bedroom. Obviously, I ran out of money because I only have curtains on two windows. Um, but this is the master bedroom. I really, really like it so far. Super cute. I think I want to change the color of the blanket on the bed, probably to a light pink to match the curtains. But other than that, I really, really like this room, this little corner especially. So cute. I can't wait to finish decorating it. And then, obviously, what is a master bedroom without a master bath? So, this room is actually 100% finished, and obviously, you guys saw, we finally have a freaking tub, so we can... Sorry, that was my puppy. She's out with my fiancé outside of the room, so she's barking. Um, we finally have a tub, so we can give Treble a bath, and we have a 100% fully finished bathroom, which is super, super exciting. So, we're going to backtrack a little bit. We're going to come here in what should be the home office. We're going to come back out here to the main entryway. And then this is the living room. It's not like super crazy. Again, I kind of ran out of money, but I did what I could with it. Um, I think I'm going to have like a music corner over here. So maybe like a radio and a guitar and just kind of clutter. And then this is, you know, the TV section. Eventually, I would like to get them a bigger couch. But for now, a two-seater couch is plenty. And then um, this right here is the half bathroom. I don't know if I'm going to keep the shower in here or if I'm going to turn it into just a half bathroom, but you guys know that's been there for a while. And then over here, the art easel. Eventually, I will put the spiral staircase here, and then this will be how you get to the second floor. And then again, the little doorway going out. <clears throat> and the best part, you guys, the absolute best part, we have a full kitchen. Like, this is 90% done, honestly. Um, crazy. So we have some decor here. We have a little table with a bunch of books, some paintings. We have a high chair finally, a dining room table. Unfortunately, I could not get all six chairs in here unless I turned it the other way and I just didn't like the way it looked. But honestly, she's going to have three, three to four kids. So for now, this four person table is fine. 
And then this kitchen. I love this kitchen. I'm obsessed with it. I love the brick wall in the back. Like, it just looks so good. So we have a whole legitimate house now. Like, sure, there's a couple rooms that are sparsely decorated, but we have a whole legitimate house. And I am so excited. So freaking excited. So I think what I'm going to spend today doing, I don't know what my initial plan was. Um, I truthfully don't remember the last time I filmed this. It hasn't been that long, but it's been long enough that I forgot. I think I want to... Oh my god, I'm sorry. He's so loud. I think I want to spend the day teaching Adam his skills because if I remember, yeah, he still needs all of his skills. So we're going to spend the day teaching him his skills and then I think probably tomorrow we'll go out and try to get another girlfriend. Um, so that would be significant other number... See, why does this say three? Because we have four. We have Christy, who's our current. We have James and Aaron. And then we also have E. So we have four. I don't know why it says three, whatever. Um, but yeah, I think today is going to be a... Uh, not skills. What is it called? His skills? I guess it's called skills. I don't know. Today's going to be a day about Adam. We're going to teach him his skills, all that fun stuff. And then tomorrow we'll work on getting significant other number five. Hopefully it can be a girlfriend. But if it's really hard to get a girlfriend, because honestly it was really hard to get Christy. If we struggle to get a girlfriend, then we will just end up with a boyfriend. But um, either way, number six does need to be a boyfriend because we have to... Um, get pregnant with baby number two, which is crazy that we're already considering that. But at the same time, like Addison's going to age up tomorrow. So she does kind of need to get moving a little bit as far as relationship and like a family goes. I don't want her to be like two days away from becoming an elder by the time she has her last child. You know what I mean? Um, okay, so we're going to clean that up. We're going to leave Adam in his high chair for just a second. We'll go get the mail and then we'll come back and I guess we'll teach him to walk. Truthfully, I don't think we've started this at all. I really don't. Oh, also, this eye candy thing. I bought um, Addison the, <laughs> the eye candy lifetime reward. I don't know why I didn't remember that, but yeah, so he has that because he's around Addison. It has nothing to do with him, which I find super funny. Um, Treble actually needs some attention, so first things first, we're actually going to let Adam out, clean this up, fill the food bowl, get the mail, and then we're going to give Treble attention. We'll brush him, um, smoochies, hug him, feed him a treat. Oh, we're out of room. Of course we are. All right, put him down real quick, please. Real fast, please, love. Come on. All right, and he's going to go just play with that while we wait because your mom's got a, not a long list, but she's got a list of stuff to do. Ignore that call because today is about your son. Okay, feed treat, and then you'll talk to him. And then we'll pet him, and honestly, his um, his social should be good by that point. I do kind of want to get another dog. I think I'm actually going to get another dog in the next part, and that will be Addie's birthday present to herself. I kind of like that idea. Yeah, her birthday present to herself. That's kind of cute. I like it. Okay, so then, yeah, go pet him, and then you will teach him how to walk. Aaron is having a party. Aaron, you are our ex-boyfriend from so long ago, I don't want to go to your party. Um, okay, we got 2,292 simoleons from that. Guys, we're racking in the dough so fast. I love it. Um, I think what I'm going to do next is I'm going to build the second story, but I'm going to make it just one room, just like one bedroom. Um, so that way Adam can move to that bedroom and baby number two, because that will be coming shortly, can move into Adam's old room. And then after that, I want to fully decorate the living room and the master bedroom. And then I will continue on and actually finish the upstairs. So that way we'll have at least two bedrooms for our kids. Um, I think that's a good plan. I mean, oh, just kidding. You can't do that. I think that would be good. I don't know. If you guys don't agree with me, let me know. But I probably won't care. <laughs> and I'll do it anyway. 
Uh, yeah. So, anyways, give him some attention. It's actually going up pretty fast. I'm kind of impressed. We're going to ignore that call because, again, we don't have time for it today. Aaron, I don't... It's already noon. Holy crap. It's already noon. Wow. This day flew by. All right, we're going to talk to. We're going to pet. Yeah, he's doing good. He is going to need a bath soon, but... Why do you have to... Why do you have to walk away to do that? Treble? Treble, turn around. Why are we doing this? Oh my gosh. Okay, um, Adam, why don't you actually crawl into the living room? Because I have a feeling, especially with teaching to walk, I have a feeling they're going to need lots of open space and the living room is going to be our best bet. So we're going to go in there. Go ahead and pet him, please, so we can move on. It's already 1 p.m. and you haven't even started teaching Adam his skills, which was supposed to be your entire day, basically. Okay, let's go ahead and chew on that, eat your food bowl. I apologize if you hear that my dog has her squeaky toy. Um, she is not in the room with me, but <laughs> it's still loud. Are you gonna, have we even, I don't think we've even started. No, we haven't even started. That's awesome, love that. So we're gonna do this until he actually learns it. We're gonna potty train him and then feed him in the high chair again because I'm sure he'll be hungry by the time we actually complete it. And then while he eats, she will use the bathroom and shower and then we'll work on teaching him how to talk. So this truthfully is going to be just like skill building day after skill building day after skill building day. Oh my goodness, okay, sorry. <laughs> it was a work email. This new job that I got, I love it. It's awesome, but they I literally get work emails from 6 a.m. to 8 p.m. I get them on the weekends if I'm logged in. It's ridiculous. I'm like, girl, please separate your work, uh, work and personal life, okay? Because I swear to God, some of these bosses at my job are work 24-7. Anyways, how's it coming over here? Actually, pretty good. He's already a quarter of the way through. Very impressed. We might be able to possibly get... No, I don't want to jinx it. I was going to say we might be able to get them both done tonight, but, like, I don't I don't want to jinx it. I am actually going to go ahead and turn the rain off just because I don't need all this lagginess. My game is laggy enough. Um, oh, update on my computer. It's still... In the process, um, I'm hoping my goal was by the end of February. It didn't happen because it's March 1st as I filmed this. My goal is by the end of March to be able to get it. I have really been back and forth between do I want to buy parts and upgrade my current computer or do I want to just buy a whole brand new computer? And I finally decided to just buy a whole brand new computer because I was looking at a $400 processor and a little over a hundred dollar for a motherboard. I was luckily lucky enough to get a graphics card. I forgot what it's called. I got a graphics card for free, so I was lucky there. But just those two pieces, we're already looking at five hundred. And then if that's not compatible, I would have to get a new Rams card. And then I might have to get a new fan if it doesn't fit. And then I have to hope and pray that all of that those new pieces fit in the case that I have. So I just think financially, it's going to be about the same amount of money whether I buy pieces and upgrade or buy a brand new one. It's going to cost me about the same. So why would I not go with the brand new one that has no issues and I know for sure is going to work as opposed to buying pieces that might not fit and might make me have to buy more stuff. So nobody asked for that, but <laughs> I told you anyways. Okay, anyways, he's about halfway done. I just want... I'm just hoping that he learns to walk before he, like, pees his pants. Um, gosh, Treble, you really need a bath. Hopefully we can give him a bath tonight. That would be nice if we could get to it because he does do a lot of work for us. I mean, he makes the majority of our money. Two for two in everything, of course. We have Pink Diamond. We have Moonstone. We have a giant space rock. Oh, my God, that is giant. We have two vampire's eye, beautiful. We have the bloodstone, we have the soul piece. I do wanna make sure to get all of that sent out before she goes to bed tonight, just so we get it tomorrow morning. Um, I think, 
I think I'm gonna film this part and the next part and then make the upgrades to the house. I don't really want to keep making upgrades after every single part or like in every single part I have a section of it that's completely dedicated to um, upgrading the house. I don't want to have to do that. Oh, trouble just got fleas love that and i'm actually going to stop teaching him to walk now so that way he doesn't pee his pants before getting potty trained and then hopefully we'll finish teaching him how to walk tonight and possibly he'll be potty trained i guess it just depends on how close he is let's see come on get in there if he doesn't learn it now he will definitely learn it in his next one it's hard to tell Sometimes they get it in only four. Sometimes it takes them five. Let's see. Girl, no. Your child comes first. No, he's definitely going to need one more for sure. So I think as long as we potty train him one more time before we put him to bed tonight, he will get potty trained and learn how to walk tonight, which is awesome. We'll just have talking left. But I'm not going to worry about teaching him his skills tomorrow because it is Addison's birthday. I want her to be able to focus on herself. And like I said, I would like for her to get a new girlfriend in the next part, um, just to kind of speed things along. Boy, stop. Don't even. Feed him in the high chair. You are not special. All right, sell this. Girl, you're so dram- Oh my god, I hate her. I hate her. Put him in- Put him in the fucking high chair. What are you doing? I'm gonna beat her ass. Get the fuck over here. Get the fuck over here. It's not that hard. Put him in the goddamn high chair. You could have peed already if you just did what I told you the first time. I hate the Sims. <laughs> I love the Sims. I hate the fucking Sims. <laughs> I love the Sims. I hate the Sim, if that makes sense. You know what I mean? I feel like you guys know what I mean. I hope you know what I mean. Otherwise, I probably sound crazy. Okay, go use the bathroom, take your shower, blah, blah, blah. Then you're going to go back to teaching him how to walk. He should learn. You're going to grab some mac and cheese. And then we're going to turn in all of this stuff. We should be getting buku bucks tomorrow. Treble, I know you're probably tired. You probably only have like one more run in you. Um, but please go do that run. Also, we have a ginormous lot and we're only using a quarter of it. Our lot goes all the way to here, I'm pretty sure. Like, we have this huge lot that we're barely using. Um, so eventually, maybe when we get, like, a lot, a lot, a lot of money, um, we might completely, like, tear down and rebuild the house. What do you guys think of that? Let me know. Let me know what you guys think. But my plan has kind of shifted for the day a little bit. I was hoping we'd be able to teach Adam how to talk as well. Not going to happen. Um, we're going to finish teaching him how to walk. We're going to get all that stuff turned in. We're going to give Treble a flea bath. And then honestly, that's probably all she's going to have time for before she has to go to bed. Because she's also going to have to potty train and put Adam back in his crib one more time. So she's got a lot to do still, and it's 8 p.m. Girl, you're struggling. Girl, just wait till you have two more babies on top of it. Hurry up. Um, actually, before you eat... Before you eat, we're going to finish taking care of Adam. Potty train him. Oh, oh, oh. Potty train him. Put him in the crib. And then we'll empty. And then we'll eat. See, her needs just keep getting pushed farther and farther back. <laughs> it's going to be literally midnight before she even gets the chance to give Treble a bath, honestly. Like, that's my guess. All right. You know sleep here oh my gosh don't sleep there that's kind of sad i really wish someone should make a mod so your dogs can pee at any time and not just when their bladder is low enough because it honestly irritates the crap out of me that my dogs have to be at a low enough bladder to go pee like why hate it all right he didn't oh he's still searching found something interesting i like how he's level nine and he's still finding something interesting you know what i mean um i'll lock that one and i don't don't ask me why i got rid of the one with the highest points i just did what i wanted to do and that's what made the most sense okay 
It didn't make sense, but that's what made sense to me. And I don't think we're going to get these put in by midnight, which is a little bit unfortunate. But honestly, it's not the end of the world. We'll just get them the next day. And like I said, I'm not going to make updates to the house until the day after her birthday. So until Thursday. Okay. He learned how to walk. Now stop. Go potty train him. Girl, stop. Girl, stop. I swear to fucking God. I swear to fucking God, I told you to stop. Go potty train him. Yeah, I know you're tired. You need to be potty trained first. And you're gonna pee here. Oh, sorry, that was my phone. Okay. Girl. This is ridiculous. Oh, look at that. Potty trained. What a king. He learned two of his three in one day. In one hour, honestly. What a king. All right, let me put him in his crib. And then we need to give Treble a flea bath. So I definitely want to do that. So we're going to send Treble over there. All right, just pick him up right there. Just bend over, pick him up. You don't got to walk anywhere. I fucking hate them. <laughs> I fucking hate them. Just bend over, pick him up. Why'd you do that? Nope, stay there. I know it's probably irritating, but just stay there, Treble. Okay, give flea bath to trouble. Don't go anywhere, dude. I swear to God. I swear to God. Look, it's midnight. It's freaking midnight. Look at I I knew this was gonna take her all goddamn night. Go, go get trouble. And then we will finally start sending I wanna make sure she gets him in the bathtub first, actually. Because my Sims have a bad habit of like saying they're gonna do something and then they don't. So, let's make sure he gets in the tub before I cue her up with anything else. Boy, stop. I swear to God. <gasps> Treble could literally die at any second. He better master his freaking hunting. Get the fuck in there. I swear to God, Treble. I swear to fucking God. I'm going to beat his ass. I'm so over it. You don't get a flea bath. I'm done. All right. Emerald cut. Emerald cut. Um, analyze, cut all emerald, emerald cut, emerald cut, get smelted. Damn it, she's out of room. Um, emerald cut. Girl, I know you're hungry. I'm so, so sorry. No, this fucking bitch. Get smelted. And then you can eat and then go straight to bed. Like, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Hold the phone. 4,846, bitch. I love how Treble was just like holding that in a little pocket for her. Um, anyways, we're gonna get all this stuff sent in. She's literally gonna eat, go to bed. She is going to sleep in not very late because Adam's gonna wake her up early so she's gonna have a rough day tomorrow but tomorrow is her birthday so she is probably gonna go out do some stuff have some fun and try to get her little girlfriend so if you guys did enjoy this part I know it was a little more on the boring end we were just kind of home hanging out with Adam and that was about it how embarrassing if Adam wasn't even his name because I questioned it there for a second. Um, anyways, sorry if this was a little bit of a boring part. The next part will be more exciting. We'll be trying to get another girlfriend. We'll be going out. We'll be aging up. All that fun stuff. So if you did enjoy, make sure you let me know by giving it a thumbs up, commenting down below, and subscribing if you have not already. And I will see your lovely, lovely faces in my next one. Bye, guys.